folks, this is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks, and let's make it a great ellipse. The ellipse is happening right now all across the country. Some get a lot, some get a little. Love is unconditional. And love, there are no conditions. You love for no reason, with no justification. You are free to be who you are and allow others to be what they are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up five, NASDAQ up 11, S&P's up two. Gold, gold contract up $12, trading at 23.57 an ounce. Excuse me, folks. Silver up 30, 43 cents, 27 dollars 93 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude, flat. $86.59 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10-year note, down 12 ticks, trading 109.08. 30-year F11 at 117.06 in King Dollar. King Dollar, come on. King Dollar trading down 155 ticks at 104.142. Euro 108, yen 151, British pound 126 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I know what's going on in y'all world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. This market, man, is a trip. There's no two ways about it, man. So you get a sideways move out here today. You have 30 million shares traded, which is a huge contraction of volume. So when you, when you take a look, this Friday, this Friday kicks off earnings, J.P. Morgan in the back. And then when you take a look at this, what you're going to see is that we have a lot of high volume Lows, folks, all the way back to January 31st. How's that? And they're going to get tested, man. <laughs> you know, the real question is when. <laughs> and so we're on a Monday. I suspect that we're going to what we're going to see here. Whoops! Come on, give me that one. I'll do this right there. There it is. Okay. You know, the, the SPY is at 519. The gap on the SPY is 497. The first high volume low is 482, and the high there was 489. The real question is going to be, okay, did we get up a little bit higher, test, fail with price and volume? And then if we look at the calendar, so what you have by the calendar here, let's go look at this for a second. So we're on the 8th. The 12th starts earnings. We're, we're, we're in the time frame that you just might be able to get a pullback. So the S&P, bottom line, wants down to those levels. Now, let's go to the Qs, because the Qs are stronger. The, the Qs, in fact, on Friday were pretty amazing. That we went down with 57 million, and we came back up with 53. Now, today, different ball game, 21. And if we take a look at the Qs, you're going to have the same type of setup. Where's the first one? There's the first one right there. So in the Qs, the gap is at 425, and we're at 440. And the high volume low is at 416. You know, so I suspect what we're going to see here also is we're going to try to test one of these days from last Friday or Thursday. Because what we've al already done, we've already tested the highs with tremendously lighter volume. If we take a look at the Qs, the first high is 72 million, the second high came in at 39. That's a market that wants to correct. So, and then we go to the gold contract. We go to the gold contract next, we take a look at gold. This is on the C to D leg of an ABC structure up and there's straight line moves and boy, you talk about a straight line move. This is about as straight as you can get. So picture. Once this, this move started, this move started on March 27th at 2180. And we're $200 over that right now. And that was in uh, five, 10 trading days. You know, 2550 is coming at us. Now, that, now that's a one to one ABC structure on the way up. Now, let's go to Silva because Silva is finally acting up. It's screaming, yelling, all of the above. It has volume behind the move. Let me do this, SI1. I gotta put this on a generic shot for a second. Oh. 
Okay, then we take this. And first, I'm going to put it on a five-year weekly. Okay, so you can see we broke the consolidation. And when you break, you know, the bottom line, we broke the consolidation with wide price spread accelerated volume. So right now, this is on the run to 30 bucks. We're at 27.94. Now let me pull this back a little. Yeah, so 30, 35 is game. And let me just do this here for a second. Let me see how this one came out. I think this was too much of a retracement. Yeah, it was. Okay. So next stop on silver, you get 30, 35. Now here's the kicker, which is really going to be a trip. If we get volume, like we've had volume right here, we blow this away, you're going to see silver take off like a rocket ship because what, ha what has happened is this, is that we're coming into, and we have been in, this, would, this is why silver's taken so long to move, major resistance. You're coming into where silver had traded from September of 2011 all the way over to February of 2013. So two full years This where this traded. But guess what? We're busted into it, and we're busted into it good. So that's saying, number one, you're going to get up into this 3035. And how we get there is going to be a big deal, because if we get there with force, like the silver contract's been trading right now. You will get to $37, $44, and then we'll go after its high of $49. So we are going to be seeing some action because if that's what you get, when silver starts moving like that, they, those silver stocks are going to go to the moon. I mean, to the, to the moon in a monster way. We're going to take a look, look at a couple of them. We, we take a look at Heckler first. You're going to see Heckler, you know, They've, they've all moved pretty much, like amazingly. Yeah, Heckler's almost doubled. We went from 332, right now you're, not, you're trading 549. Stay right there, folks. Come right back with our man, Mr. Steve Rhodes.